Is that web EX exam sample is built in QTP? Yes, it, it is for sample he has created it, but you need to create in the same method all other uh, functions. We see it in the project how we create for the new object. For timing, since it is an only an introduction, because it needs lot of Java understanding, without that it becomes difficult for you to understand. Right? So it is very important that we understand clearly what we need to do. So every object you have to create a class and that class has to be the high level. You can now see that he has created this operations and each properties also you can see now title is a property, authors is the property, price is the property, minimum use price is the property etc. You can also evaluate this using evaluate or uh, run. You can run this particular say properties. There is a debug property retrieval. If I run this, it will ask me to select the control. I choose the control now. I think he's having an issue. I close the browser. I reopen the browser. The same problem, add in is not associated. I open the browser now. So I am opening the browser. Okay. Allow blocked content. Yes. Now I go to properties. I run. Once I run, I select the control. I select this control. You can see now there was a green color and that used for selecting the control. We have selected the control as well. Now, I will go back. When I try to retrieve the property, I would like to now select the control. When I select the control, when I want to select the control, I need to click on the select and control. And I need to have my book page opened. So select control, use the hand symbol and you can notice now it has been selected. You can identify that with a green color. It is now been selected. Click on it. That means it is selected. Now the control is selected. This is how you debug your script. What do you want to do? I want to retrieve title is my property. I like to retrieve. So title is the property I like to retrieve. I click on retrieve value. Once I click on retrieve value, he goes to that application, retrieves that value and stores that value to your object. He is now going back to the book, he is retrieving the value and he is now coming back with a property value. So this is possible only now using Q test extensibility. How he has retrieved that property? If I go to the code, I now cancel my debug property retrieval window. I now go back to the script. In script you notice now there is one called again a Java coder. I click on this implementation code. I click on that implementation code. Now I am into the Java window. 
in this java window you can now see that get property value logical name property title this is the way he retrieves the property row 0 under a score element is the object using this object row 0 cell 1 he is retrieving the text these are all the commands of the jquery and he retrieves the text and that text he is reporting it as a title so that is how he retrieves the property so you can retrieve the title you can retrieve the property etc etc you can retrieve price you can retrieve anything as you wish so this is how he retrieves now title so is this clear now so this is how he retrieves an object property this is a small introduction of a test extensibility now we move on to jquery if you have any questions let me know so before I come to it so test extensibility needs first we need to know what is the customization required for the object under test so in our case we know now I'll come back so what is we need to know what is the customization required for the object under test second we need to know how we like to configure operations what are all the operations you should know properties for that object this also we need to be clear once that is done need to use test extensibility accelerator to understand the object and use JS JavaScript to configure the values operations and properties this is how the test extensibility work just for your understanding once I know what is the class what I go to the operations I can create any operations I like to create I can add you can see a plus symbol in the top I can add any number of operations in the same way I can add any number of properties now I move to the properties in this properties I want to show you how an object property is retrieved I click on debug window that is your arrow mark right hand side arrow mark that is my play window using play window my you can see now debug property retrieval window appears using this first I need to select the control to select the control you have to keep the page open so I now go to the page book page keep it open once I keep it open I come back to extensibility now I select the control when I select the control you can see now it has been selected so that means this is the object from which you are trying to retrieve the property done once that is done I say cancel this is object is selected then what is that you want to retrieve I like to retrieve title then I say retrieve value there is a click event retrieve value select retrieve value he now goes to that object retrieves a value and passes back to the debug property retrieval this is the way you debug now he has retrieved prop title you want to retrieve authors you can retrieve authors 
So all the authors now will be retrieved and put it under property value. I have selected authors now. Retrieve value. He goes to the authors to that class. Retrieves now. There are totally two authors are there. He has retrieved length of that author. This is called length property. Instead of retrieving the actual text, that is fine. So we will correct it later. Then I want price. Price is also having an issue. So retrieve value. He goes now and comes back. You can see now it is retrieving $59.99 is the price. So all this are done by code. Now I will go to the code for your understanding. This property decides from which property I need to retrieve. Class decides which class I need to retrieve all these properties. I cancel this. Now I go to the code that is available under implementation code. Under implementation code, you can now see get property value is the function. In this function, first is either logical name or title. He retrieves that information dot text is the information that retrieves the title. Then property authors. He goes to the authors. He retrieves the authors count. So dot length is actually the authors count. So he now retrieves the authors count. In fact, you can see now authors dot length. This authors dot length is what I have typed. So I command this line. I remove this. Now he will retrieve the authors of that page. I'll show you how once I execute it. I need to save this file. It has to be compiled. Then price. He retrieves now first element price. 0 EQ. 0 means it's a first element. From the children. He is retrieving the first element. So he retrieves that first element. Then he uses minimum used price, that is the next element. So this is how he retrieves the property. These are all the way he manages. Now we are going to understand what is EQ0, what is length, etc, etc. That is what we are going to see as a next event. So I go back, go to that class again, go to the properties again. Let me see the authors. I have changed the authors in the actual script. I return. Now I go to authors. Now I retrieve the value. You see now how he retrieves the value. You can see now he is retrieving now both the author's name and he is showing in the property value. So change in the code will change your retrieval methodology. So this is the way he manages for understanding better on this, we now get into the jQuery. This J, JS file requires your complete knowledge on so-called Java's query, jQuery. jQuery is the method he uses.